Walker. What's going on, Pickles? Walker. Nick has an attitude Walker. yet again. Walker. Walker. Apparently, he doesn't want Jasmine to have an education, and he doesn't want to do it. So we're in this hard and rock place where he's not going to teach her, and he doesn't want anybody else to teach her. So she's just running around here. He's not paying attention to her at all. He has his hat over his face, and he's threatened to go sit in the car because I'm annoying him so much trying to have a conversation with him. So that's great. I gave her my phone to watch learning videos, but she started wandering around. Oh, now he's gonna act like a concerned dad because the camera's on him. I like you. Well, basically in the situation, Nick was taking a nap at about, um, I don't know, three o'clock, 3 p.m. And my daughter Jasmine was also taking a nap at 3 p.m. because for some reason, my husband and my daughter sleep at the same exact time. If my husband dozes off, my daughter dozes off. If Nick goes, if Jasmine goes to sleep, Nick goes to sleep. It's weird. And they don't even have to like be in the same room in each other's presence doing this. It's just like some, like their brains are synced up or something. It's weird. I have insomnia, so I'd be up. Anyways, Nick was sleeping at three. Jasmine was sleeping at three. And I got a call at like 315 about an interview for um, my daughter to get into preschool. I had done the paperwork hoping that I was going to qualify for free tuition for her. Uh, but um, when I was going through the paperwork, it didn't look like I was going to. So they called me up for an interview in person and to finish filling out paperwork. And so I was like, okay, I'll get there um, whenever. I just need y'all to give me like a time and a date where they're like, what's good for you? And I'm like, well, I work at home. So I just need to know like what's y'all's most recent availability. When can I get in there ASAP? <clears throat> and they were like, well, we have an appointment of free at 4.30. And I'm like, 4.30 today? And so I'm very much caught off guard by this. And I hadn't even told Nick that I was signing Jasmine up for preschool. So he had no idea about this. And he's he's a little bit anti-school in general because he wanted to homeschool her. So it was a little bit like kind of abrasive in a way. So I ended up being like, yeah, 4.30 is great. Because I was just so caught off guard by her saying today there's an availability and around time where peak traffic is five so i was like yeah whatever i'll be there so i looked up the address and it's 20 minutes away so i'm like oh a long drive it's in traffic and nick and jasmine are asleep so these are three hurdles at this point um i wake up nick at like 3 45 i let him sleep a little bit longer and at 3 45 i climb on top of him and i'm like hey baby wake up i love you and he's like i love you too i'm tired da, da, da. And I'm like, hey, we got to leave in 10 minutes to go to Jasmine's appointment. He's like, what appointment? What are you talking about? And I'm like, well, I signed her up for preschool and they need to interview us. And he's like, why are we even doing this? Like, you need to tell me about this, whatever, whatever. And he's understandably tired and kind of grumpy. But I'm like, let's just go and see what they're offering. Let's see if she qualifies for free tuition. We're going to have these twins soon. I'm super pregnant. For those of you that didn't know, I am about to be 24 weeks pregnant in a couple of days so i'm super pregnant with twins and we are going to have our hands full with three small kids running around the house so it's best to get jasmine in some sort of program where she's getting a lot of social interaction and it's a bonus that she'll be learning some things and uh, enhancing her communication because she's now surrounded by peers instead of just by me and her dad so i was like let's just go let's just see what it's about let's get our questions answered and then we'll come home we can even go get something to eat if you want if that makes you feel better he's like oh so he ends up getting out of bed and feeling better after he starts walking around and while he's getting ready i go wake up jasmine i get her diaper on i get her pants on because she's potty training so she's not always wearing her diaper so i get her diaper on i get her pants on and then we're ready to go i tell nick i know you have a little bit of an attitude because i woke you up so i'll drive no problem so we go and we start driving and then everything's fine we're jailing like just everything's fine and then we get there and like the lady said my appointment was at 4 30 we got there at 4 21 4 22 and <clears throat> she was like helping someone else until like 4 45 so we were sitting there waiting for well over 30 minutes and then like she said okay it's y'all's turn but i gotta go print out your paperwork and then she took another like 15 minutes to print out our paperwork so we sat there waiting for like 45 minutes and our like interview didn't even start till five so nick was understandably irritated that we had to wait so long and i was like why are you being such a debbie downer like stuff happens like people are going to be behind especially in the school system i've worked in the school system i worked for two school districts in my area 
uh, for years. So I definitely understand how they can be behind and understaffed and whatever, but Nick just doesn't have that understanding or empathy. So he was really grumpy and grouchy about the whole situation. <clears throat> Like, if they don't come out here in five minutes to interview us, I'm going in the car. If, you know, if this lady comes out here one more time and doesn't address us, I'm going in the car. You know, if Jasmine keeps running around, I'm going in the car. I'm like, shut up and just go in the car if you want to go in the car. Like, you're being super unsupportive and super rude right now. We just need to get our questions answered. This interview is probably not even going to take that long. Who cares? We're already here. Like, just get over it. Like, stop being annoying. And so he starts throwing out pretty much a bitch shit so i went ahead and started recording him and i was like this is nick acting like a child being annoying um and then i decided that that's how i would get the vlog started off because um i was vlogging tuesday and wednesday but i didn't post anything on tuesday but i was vlogging tuesday and wednesday i just didn't have enough content and i was tired from the last minute stuff because we were just chilling in bed up until then so there was nothing to vlog and i vlogged a little bit of the pre pre-k or whatever and then Wednesday, um, I ran a couple of errands, so I blogged that. And then today, which um, today is two days after I'm, I'm rehashing the story, but today I ran an errand over to the Salvation Army, which is a thrift store, because I left one of my daughter's photos at the thrift store. I brought the photos so I could see if they fit in the portraits, and I left them. So uh, I left one, so I had to go back and grab it. And I also grabbed some food on the way home. But long story short... He's being annoying. And so the lady finally comes out and starts addressing us. So she basically goes, here, fill out all this paperwork. And then he's annoyed that he has to fill out paperwork. And I'm like, oh my God, like you're getting annoyed at everything, shut up. And so at this point she finishes like putting our paperwork in the system and she starts explaining the stuff. She's like, well, your daughter's backpack is gonna be provided. So don't worry about that. Her lunch is gonna be provided and snacks. They're gonna have a nap time. So don't worry about bringing a mat or blankets or anything. Cause we have these here. Um, and also all the school supplies are um, supplied. So what you need to do is bring a water bottle for the baby so we can refill up the water fountain. And I was like, great, okay, awesome. And she's like, well, do y'all have any questions for me? And so basically I asked, did we qualify for free tuition based off my income alone? Because Nick is a stay-at-home dad. She said, yes, y'all do qualify for free tuition. So my daughter will be going to preschool uh, for three and four years old for free. She's just turning three in a couple of months and preschool starts in August. So um, she's turning three and then preschool starts a little bit later. Luckily, we got that free tuition because we already have so many bills coming with the babies. And then um, we asked about the bus depot, like where are the buses picking up the kids so that we know, you know, how to get her to school, if we should be driving her, whatever, whatever. And the bus depots, when she showed me the locations, they were like 15 minutes away from our house. And... <laughs> the school is 20 minutes away so it's like we might as well just drive her and plus it'll give us that intimacy i told nick that he can drive her to school and pick her up and i'll stay home with the twins um or we can all go like we can load up everybody in the car and go together but i feel like when the twins are small we shouldn't be just driving them around just for the heck of it um so maybe when they're a little bit bigger like a couple more months older but anyways nick ends up asking something like you know is PD on staff and she's like yes the police department we have two officers at all times da, 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 da. um he ends up asking you know like just another question whatever whatever so we ask our questions and everything's all good and then after we get the questions asked we get in the car and everything's like perfectly done and we're enrolled ready to go and Nick's like sorry for being a little bit of a stinker you know once I was able to ask my questions I personally felt better about the situation I'm excited for her to go to school you know um sorry I had an attitude the whole time I apologize and I'm like well why do I even have to deal with your attitude like you do this all the time you get an attitude over super stupid stuff and then you apologize like an hour later but it's like you could just grow up and not have an attitude in the first place and realize this is adult stuff he's like yeah I realize that you shouldn't even be having to jump through these hoops to get her into preschool I should be doing this stuff but you know I didn't and you did so I thank you for getting this all done and I'm like yeah you better be thanking me exactly but it's still irritating to me that we're even going back and forth about this and we do this like once a week because I always do stuff that needs to get done and then you're begrudgingly coming along with me when it's like you didn't even do anything all you have to do is be here for the ride and he's like I didn't even have to go to this interview you could have filled out all that paperwork by yourself Jasmine and I could have stayed home and I'm like well I didn't know if they were going to need to see her Nick I didn't know if they were going to need to ask you questions so I brought y'all just in case like why can't you just be cool and he's like yes I'm sorry for my actions and how I was um addressing you whatever whatever and I'm just like whatever so that is how that situation resolved and I wanted to just give you guys the backstory because you only saw that little out of context clip and I was editing the vlog right now and I was like if they see that out of context clip they're not going to know that he apologized and then they're not going to know the full extent to how much he was annoying me and on top of that I'm pregnant so I'm like 
I'm extra on edge. Anyways, I'm watching TV right now, so I gotta go. But enjoy the rest of the vlog. We are trying to sign her up for a pre-K uh, for September. Is it is already. February, so it's a long way out, but we're just trying to test the waters, see what's going on, see what tuition is, if any. Hopefully we apply, hopefully we qualify for free, but we don't know. We're gonna find out here, they're signing us in. Spinach dip. I was mad that we didn't get any spinach dip from your mom. From, from the two girls? Yeah, it's over there. Rip the spinach dip. Well, we needed a bottle. That's what we came here for. This stuff is kind of just you glancing yeah, around. I, about I do too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want a cookie? Cookie. 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 So, welcome back, Pickles. Um, I'm laying in bed, relaxing, watching TV. I'm about to go to the thrift store and um, run a couple of errands. I think we're going to get some smoothies. Since we'll already be out and about and I have a buy two smoothies, get one free. And we're a, per we're a family of three, plus two in the womb. So, we're all going to be able to get a smoothie. That'll be fun. Um, but we need to go to the thrift store so we can work on Nick's dad's birthday gift. His birthday is in two months. Um, a little over two months, but we want to get the gift prepared and ready to go so that if we want to make changes and edits, we can. Um, but really, it's just some photos of our family in a nice frame or whatever for Nick's dad. And hopefully he'll hang it up at his new house. He's having a house built. So Nick's in the shower right now. That's you may hear background noise. Water trickling. That's the shower. But um, the baby shower went really good. Um, we didn't have a huge turnout. It was like 12 people max. But it was like everybody who I wanted to see came. You know, it was good times. A lot of my family didn't show up. But, you know, they sent their regards via messages, texts, and stuff. Um, we have basically everything that we need for the twins at this point we got two separate bassinets we have a twin bassinet which is a playpen with two bassinets in it so that's four bassinets technically total we have two high chairs we have um two pop and sits which are just basically foldable chairs but baby style um we have a uh, couple bottles binkies we have a plethora of clothes from when Jasmine was a baby, and um, we got some more clothes as baby shower gifts, uh, and socks, and gloves, and stuff for the baby. Um, my friend came to my baby shower, and I didn't get to go to his baby shower, because I had just found out I was pregnant, and I was super sick, but I had a gift for him, and I totally forgot it, freaking pregnancy brain, so I feel bad. Um, but I know he doesn't care. He was just happy to see me, and we totally agreed to link up after I'm done being pregnant, so I'll just take him the gift then. Plus, besides, his daughter won't fit into it for, like, another year anyway. Other than that, everything's been going pretty good. I am three months away from delivering these babies, whether it's C-section or vaginal, but I'm gonna have these puppies pushed out of me, taken out of me one way or another um, in May, and it's February 14th. So February 14th to March 14th, March 14th to April 14th, April 14th to May 14th. So three more months. I even have a calendar. Here above my head that I just tick off the days like I'm in prison which I am I'm in prison in my own body um, I've been eating a lot of ice cream and cake lately I wouldn't say those are my pregnancy cravings I just like ice cream and cake and being pregnant is the perfect excuse to eat those things for breakfast lunch and dinner um, but yeah I've definitely been feeling it in regards of my forehead breaking out <laughs> I have been uh, drinking root beer that's my kind of guilty pleasure drink so breaking out because i'm eating like garbage but also pregnant women tend to break out more pregnancy acne so i don't know if it's just that but regardless i'll be fine after i give birth to these little nuggets 
Um, I've been doing bump dates as much as possible. I'm laying on my back right now, so it's kind of hard to see the bump, but you can tell from where my hand is motioning, and then obviously my boobs are over here. Um, I am taking pictures, like, semi-weekly for you guys to see the bump grow, so don't worry about that. I got that in the works for y'all, but we were just at the store the other day. It's not like we needed to go to the store or anything, but it was kind of just like we were passing by the store after Jasmine um, interviewed for pre-K. Thankfully, we were able to get a free spot for the pre-K, um, so that was great. She starts in August. But after pre-K uh, interview, we were like, let's go to the store, grab some stuff. You know, if we're low on anything, we'll just grab it while we're out. So we ended up grabbing the salmon patties and some, you know, crab salad and uh, ice cream. Because we were low on ice cream, which, my fault. <laughs> but yeah, we just got a couple of things, chips, you know, stuff that was um, going for coupons, like buy two chips, get a dollar off or something like that. So yeah, we just kind of refreshed the pantry a little bit, got a couple of snacks for Jasmine this morning for breakfast. She had a hot dogs, cookies, well, like, they were like vanilla wafer cookies, nice and small, so cookies, hot dogs, chips, and star, I don't, it's like goldfish, but star-shaped instead of fish-shaped, so she had a good breakfast, um, she's potty training harder these days than normal, she's already pretty much potty trained, but we've been trying to get her more consistent with it, and out of diapers, um, cause we gotta get that done within three months before the twins are born. So, she has been doing great. She'll tell us when she has to go pee pee, or we'll ask her if she has to go pee pee, and she immediately goes to the toilet and goes. Um, if we leave her in her room with her tiny potty, she'll go pee pee in there. And if we leave her without a diaper for bedtime, she doesn't pee in the bed. She wakes up and goes pee pee on the tiny toilet. So, she's doing super phenomenal. I don't know why she's such a good baby, but she is, and everything's going good so far. So when Nick's out of the shower, we will be getting up, going to the thrift store. The thrift store's just down the street. Um, I am going to return my Google Fiber Wi-Fi stuff at FedEx, and there's a FedEx like a mile away. So hopefully we can do that while we're out and about, and then we're going to go get some smoothies. So that is the plan. So I'll see y'all when we are moving. Good morning. Whipping. Okay. You have mommy. I'm daddy. Jesus Christ. Oh, I want you. Love you too. So we ordered some cream blends. Jasmine got a strawberry cream blend. I got a strawberry banana. Nick got a peanut butter watermelon cream blend. And the guys in the back were laughing at him, making his drink. Super embarrassing. They were like, we've never done this before. This is gonna be a first time. We don't know if it's gonna be good or anything. And he's like, so it's like he's the pregnant one. I don't know what to say. I forgot that it's Valentine's Day, so traffic is super busy right now, but we're gonna it's get these drinks. Time. We're gonna get these drinks and then uh, drop off the package. And then after that, we are going to go to the thrift store. Thank you. Thank you. Oops, at the right side. Thank you. 
Yummy? Uh, is it everything you dreamed of? Yep. Why do I feel like it's the nastiest drink of the world? Try it. Why is he pushing it closer to me? <laughs> you gotta try it. Taste it. I gotta get your reaction. I just tasted it and told them my reaction. Oh. Get that thing away from me. Yes! So we got our drinks. It literally took them two minutes to make. Like from the moment we sat down, the drinks were ready. Nick got a weird peanut butter watermelon blend and Jasmine keeps drinking it. Like every time he gets it in her face, she like drinks it, it's super weird. Like he doesn't force it on her, he just puts it down and like she like walks over and finds the, the straw. It's so weird because I think she only likes it because there's watermelon in it. <laughs> Black girl, but yeah, they're weirdos. So I pulled up at a Walmart and there's a FedEx office inside. So hopefully they can pack and ship because if not, I will be sad. But the baby and Nick, the baby and Nick stayed in the car, so hopefully everything goes fine. Fifty percent off red if you if you can wear it 50% off you got a horse you got a horse you, what are you trying to do with that you trying to hit me you're crazy you're crazy What's that? What's yes, yeah, clothes. Clothes. Yeah, so I don't think we qualify for anything half off, but we did get the lower prices. So you were playing with the tennis racket and now you oh. see these blocks and you're not gonna put these blocks down? I have to get you the blocks. <laughs> <laughs> this is your daughter, bro. She's a beggar. Oh my god, we were just at the cash register. Oh my god. <laughs> so Jasmine spilled her smoothie in the car. So I'm gonna go throw it in the fridge. We just pulled up at my parents' house. This was not part of the plan. My mom was like, oh, you're right by my house. Are you stopping by? And I was like, no, but I had to pee. So I ended up coming anyway. She's making us tacos right now and I'm gonna ask her for some help. <sighs> Jasmine's playing with her blocks. I just woke up, just woke up like five seconds ago and I'm on the way to the Salvation Army because I think I left something over there. So I'm just gonna go and see if I left it. A picture of my daughter. So after sprinting into the thrift store, I was finally able to get the photo back. Um, I'm glad a weirdo didn't take it or anything. That's what I was really worried about. You know, it's a picture of a young girl. People are weird out here. And um, my freaking pregnancy brain, every single time I've gone out somewhere, I've forgotten something. So at this point, I need to just tell Nick, he needs to start taking the reins on the situations because it's really starting to irritate me that I can't keep track of everything. And my brain is like, so I'm driving home now.